So today we're doing um, moving house when you have OCD. What are the things you can do to make that move a little bit less stressful? Um, I did move house last week. I'm actually in the middle of moving house because we haven't got the keys for the new place yet. So I'm currently in temporary lodgings. Uh, there are certain things that I think I did quite well and there are other things that I could have done a lot better. So here with the tips. Number one, think ahead of time about the sort of things that might trigger you. I feel really weird using the word trigger because I'm not even sure I like the word, but it feels it feels like the right word to use in this context. So for me, we were watching television the night before we moved out of the house and the television is sat on a cupboard which is crammed full of little bits and bobs that the tenants before left like board games and stuff that you, you will never look at in a million years well I looked at it that night I opened up the cupboard and because I suddenly was struck with this thought of oh my god what happens if something I've written somewhere on like a note or an envelope has found it its way into that cupboard and and then what happens if somebody finds it and then my public character is slurred. I'm, it's all ridiculous stuff, but that is like a catastrophic what-if thought chain I regularly embark on. I think it's because I write a lot of notes on backs of envelopes and stuff that probably make no sense to to you if you saw it, but in my head I'm like, it, it, I guess it's related to public shame. I don't know. I just, I always want to destroy anything that I've written on, like tear into lots of little pieces or like keep it safe in my box. So that's what motivated me to check that cupboard. And lo and behold, I did find a note that I'd written. So obviously that then entrenched the, this idea that I had to go and check more and more stuff. So then I'm opening up the pointless board game, who knew one existed, and I'm looking through all the question and answers, just checking that there's not a note in between any of the, the cards. And there wasn't. And yeah, it did feel pointless. Number two, make lists of things that, are important to you that well, that you're gonna want to go and check that you've definitely got them somebody did actually flag this on my last video wrote a comment reminding me that this was a really good tip and it is a super good tip I'm sorry I can't remember your name if I say it I'll get it wrong Jenna um and it's a very good tip anyway and I've done that before when I've gone on holiday like I've written to written a list and then I tick, when I go back to check, I've actually got it, I'll tick next to the object. And the more ticks accumulate, accumulate, the more it kind of reminds me how ridiculous my checking is, that I don't need to check that many times. So it kind of works both ways. Um, that's a good tip anyway. T uh, another one, you need to lock down the rooms as you go. So I started at the top of the house and... I kind of treated it slightly like, it was almost like a holistic exercise. I was very much at peace. I did it in my own sweet time. I methodically went through everything. And every time I opened a cupboard and there was nothing, I was like, there is nothing there. There is nothing there. And then obviously when I found something, when something appeared, I was like, oh God, oh God, there's something. Oh. Um, it's a good idea though. And then every time I finished a room, I said, thank you room, you've been great. And I closed the door. And believe it or not, I didn't go back in the room. Tip three, I think I'm on the third tip. Get your other half or whoever you live with on board with this ahead of time. I didn't do that and I'm kicking myself that I didn't do it because I'd got to the last room. I was doing my last checks and it was in the study and my partner like appeared at the door and she was like, come on, we're gonna be late, hurry up. That, I just felt so frustrated then because then I was like, oh, like, oh. I then obviously had to start it again, the check-in again, and then I found myself, and it was the stress, it was, in, it was the stress of feeling that I had a time limit meant that I then, the two packets of A4 pieces of paper that I then pulled out and like started checking the paper to make sure none of my notes was in the packets of A4 paper. And they're really hard to put in the packets, back in the packets when you pulled them out. So I totally blame my partner for that. So maybe my final tip is 
if you're a loved one of somebody with OCD who is moving house, just butt out. Let him get on with it.